Hi guys, it's Shalisa Jaikran, makeup artist and beauty writer. And today we're talking about, guess what? Miley Cyrus. Now you guys know me. I, I'm sure you guys know my style. I say it all the time. I would like to do natural, you know, simple, clean looks. If you guys go onto my website, you'll see a little bit of my portfolio and my style. Um, but I felt like wow this is miley cyrus like we need to do something fun something bright and that's exactly what we're doing today so we're going to be doing this look together with the viva glam lipstick and lip gloss and i hope you guys like it so if you want to see how to get this look continue watching And we're taking that cinnamon eyeshadow and we are blending it into the crease. As you know, you're going to do windshield wiper motion. So you're doing it back and forth. And remember to hold the brush further back so you get a softer blend. And we're going to build that cinnamon color up because we want to create a really nice gradient. Next, taking this beautiful cream color base from Makeup Forever, we're going to apply this all over the lid with a synthetic brush. I'm using Max number 242. Next, we're using this MAC pigment in Chartreuse Bouquet, and we're going to apply this all over the lid where we applied the aqua cream. This is going to help intensify it and make it look a little bit brighter. I'm not sure if you guys ever used this before, but I really, really like the Essence of Beauty brushes. I'm using the Crease brush from one of those sets I think I picked up at like Walgreen or something like that. Um, and we're going to get into the crease here, but you want to use something small and fluffy because if the brush is too big, it's going to overtake the cinnamon color and then you're going to lose the gradient. So you really want to use something small and especially if you have small eyes like mine, you want to make sure that you're very, very precise size with the blending. Next, we're going to use a black eyeliner in the waterline, and we're also going to tight line the eyes. So basically, why we're doing that is because I don't want to lose the green that we already did. My eyes are so small, so this is going to give a dense look on the eyes, and it's also going to help the lashes look a little bit fuller. So think of it as a mirror. We're going to do exactly what we did on the lid on the lower lash line. So we're taking that cinnamon, and we're going to blend it down. And to create a nice smoky finish, we're going to take that exact dark brown from the crease and apply it on the lower lash line. I use MAC Extra Dimension Mascara and I'm going to do the other side and then we'll continue with the blush and the lipstick. So now that we have the eyes done, I'm going to be using this sleek palette that I've used a couple times before as blush and it is the Sugar Palette Blush by 3. Um, I really, really like to mix all these colors in so that's what exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to do mostly the peach and this color. Not too much of that because I don't want it to be too dark because we're going to be doing this bright pink lipstick. So, uh, this is what the lipstick looks like. I've already worn it. It looks like this. And this is what the lip gloss looks like. It is um, a very glittery gloss. And it goes on a little bit sheer. So let me give you guys... I mean, it's not too sheer because you still get the color from it. But it's according to how you wear it. So that's the gloss. Right, and that is the lipstick. So let's apply. Hundred swipes of your lipstick. 
And now we're gonna go in with the gloss. And because the lipstick is amplified, like it has a nice shimmer to it. Mm, it really does. Mm, perfect. 